Mm. Roll it. Roll it. Welcome to this week's episode of the Bruce and Josh Show. So, wait, what are we talking about today? Oh my oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> they keep me in the dark here, people. <laughs> Closing costs. Closing costs and who pays them? Oh, that's right. Closing costs. <laughs> Welcome to the Bruce and Josh Show. And today we are talking about closing costs. And who pays them. And who pays them. That's right. Somehow, people always seem to think that the other party is supposed to pay all the closing costs. In actuality, it's structured out on the Florida contract of who pays what. So a really common situation that we run into when drafting offers is that the buyer seems to think that they don't have any responsibility to closing cost. Right. When the contract actually does outline exactly who is supposed to pay what. And, and true, there's no true, there's no real right or wrong. Everything is negotiable. However, the contract is structured in a way where things do make sense. The buyer is paying for the cost it takes to get their mortgage, whatever the lender's charging, uh, state taxes on the mortgage. The buyer's paying for inspections. And believe me, you want to pay for your inspections. You do not want the seller choosing the company and paying the company. Sure. You want to make sure that that is 100% arm's length away from the seller. Sure. And you know, if you're a buyer and you're needing help with any of those costs and you're asking the seller to contribute to any of that, then you might want to look at a adjustment to the purchase price to, you know, kind of make the offer look a little more attractive. So typically in the Pensacola market, it's customary for the seller to pay title insurance and that's kind of showing that, you know, you've owned the property and you're conveying clear title to the buyers. Here in this hot seller market, however, we've been seeing more and more where the buyers are opting to pay for that just to make their offers look more attractive. Bottom line is that when we're in a seller market like right now, often the buyers will have to figure out how to accommodate that in order to sweeten their offer, make it more uh, enticing to the seller based on multiple offers on the table. At some point in the future when we go back to a buyer market, kind of the reverse of that will happen and buyers may be a little bit more in control on what they can ask the seller to pay. Absolutely need to structure your offer to where you are the cleanest and the most negotiable in terms of uh, winning your position within the deal. If you have any more questions on this, just put it in the comments below or send us a message and remember to give this video a like, share it with somebody who might benefit from it and follow us on social media. You forgot to say subscribe again. So I'm going to do it here. So subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next week. <laughs>